Hey, hey, lovely people. How are you? I'm just going to check my microphone. That's all good. I'll turn on my chat. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm Libby from Truly Myrtle and Wardrobe Toolbox. And it is lovely to have you with me today. I'm streaming out uh, live. This is a live podcast. You can come and chat to me when I'm live or you can catch me later and you can just, you know, enjoy the show. I'm live on YouTube and I'm live in our Facebook Hangout. It's a group I have on Facebook where everyone comes to talk about all the Trudy Myrtle knitting, using Trudy Myrtle yarn or Trudy Myrtle patterns. And it's a lot of fun. Now, if you can hear, we might have background music because it's school holidays here and one of my children has obviously jumped in the shower. And if you're a teenager, you know you can't have a shower without extraordinarily loud music. And I can just hear it started. So you might hear it too. And if you do, oh well, it can be a party for all of us. Hey Lynn, nice to see you. You're up early for once. Yay, you're busy scanning up all the new colorways. It's a good job to do while I listen to the podcast. Nice to have you, Lynn. So if you're calling in from Facebook, put your, put your name at the bottom of, the, um, of your comment. If you're calling in from YouTube, I can see your name. Uh, hi, Sydney. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Beck. In Sydney, it's a drizzly day. Well, it's absolutely beautiful today. I, I am... Um, it's, it's a beautiful day today. I have just been down the other end of the, well, not quite. Yes, sort of the other end of the country. I went down to uh, Christchurch in Rangiora last week, at the end of last week, and I was there for over the weekend. And then I was in Dunedin for a couple of days at the beginning of this week. It's a lot colder down there than it is up here. It's quite warm <laughs> up here and sunny. And I, oh, I really enjoyed the cold weather, actually. All oh, my knits were in good use. Uh, it was lovely to see you down south, Alexa. Oh, that's fantastic. Nice to see you too. Hi, Di. Um, you finally get to watch live. Yay for the school holidays. Exactly. It's school holidays here for two weeks, uh, this week and next week. So, um, yeah, we can all just enjoy cruising a little bit more and not racing off to school all the time. Hey, Tamsin. Nice day in Napier. Oh, good. I'm glad, Tamsin. You always have lovely weather there anyway. Well, that's not entirely true, is it? But... You often have lovely weather. Um, hi, Barbara. It was wonderful to meet you and have you as one of our class teachers at the First Knit and Gather. Yes, I'm going to talk all about that in a second, Barbara. It was so much fun. Hey, Linda from sunny Los Angeles. Uh, someone from Facebook says it was lovely to meet me at Knit and Gather. Um, Terry says, good morning, Libby. It's funny, funny how last weekend seems like ages ago. Sunny day to town south. I crammed so much into those five days I was away. I feel like I've been away for a month. I feel like I've had this long holiday. It's amazing. I've come back and it's just, I just feel like I've been gone for ages and ages and I was only gone five nights. Hi, fr Trish from Geelong in Victoria, Australia. Oh, hi, Marina. How are you from Strawberry Patches? Um, I am going, I've got a lovely thing from Marina and I've realized I'm not going to have time to talk about it in, in, um, as much detail as I would like. So I'm going to come back to that Marina. I will talk about it at some point. She sent me this beautiful pack and I want to show you all. Um, Barbara said it's frosty, a f good frost in Rangiora. Oh my gosh. Well, I can sort of believe it because one of the, when I went out on Saturday night, um, to have a bash of some, have a go on some sort of spinning wheels. Uh, the people whose house I was at had the fire on and it was absolutely delicious having the fire on. No chance of a fire here yet, but we will get you. Uh, we will get you. We will get the fire in, uh, at some point. I think I've forgotten how to speak today. Oh, my daughter's FaceTiming me, so we'll just turn her off. Right. I bought a lot of yarn. I went to wool gathering, a wool and gathering, and I bought knit and gathering, Knit and gathering. God, all my names, all the knitting wool names. And I bought a lot of yarn. It was so much fun. I had a real blast, actually. People um, were so, it was just so fun to see everybody. And there were faces I hadn't seen for years. There were people I'd only seen online. Lots and lots and lots of my wardrobe toolboxes were there, which was amazing. It was so good to see everybody. And to put faces to names as well. I really enjoyed that. Uh, Barbara and Tamsin put on Knit and Gather, and it was the first year um, that the uh, festival has been on. It's in Rangiora, which is down just out of Christchurch. It's a really beautiful part of New Zealand. Australians, if you're thinking of coming over, it would be a good one to come to. It's a really, really pretty. You walk into 
knitting country. You're walking into wool country and it's and you feel it. It is so, so cool. I um, uh, Barbara kindly ticky toured me around one morning. Uh, on the first morning before I was teaching and I went in, we went into Christchurch and we visited um, Ethan and Emily at um, Ethan's shop get flocked and that was really fun to see them and to see the pretty shop. It's always nice to see things so that you can visualize it when you hear about it later. It's really good to go and do that. And then we went to a place called um, the Tannery. Now the Tannery was amazing. It's where the Spinning Guild, I think it's the North Canterbury someone can remind me the exact name but it's like the spinning guild from north canterbury has premises i think it's the rangiora chapter or rangiora um group i think uh anyway they have this lovely big built uh big space at the tannery and at the front they have like a little shop it's not huge it's just a small shop and they have a whole lot of bits and pieces that they've made there's spinning fiber there's hand spun there's garments there are these beautiful wool coats that someone has made for an absolute bargain um, they've all knitted things made out. There's all sorts of beautiful, beautiful things in the front of the shop. And then we got to have a little look out the back. And you open the door, and it's like Lion Witch in the Wardrobe, because you open the door, and out the back is this enormous, enormous space. And there's a line of spinning wheels that go down one wall and then looms at the end. And there were people there working and having meetings and things. Books. It was absolutely beautiful. Yes, Alexa, you love the tannery. It's your local. Well, if you are live in that area, it, I I would join the Christchurch Guild of Weavers and Spinners. That's what it is. Thank you, Barbara. Um, what an amazing, amazing space, and it just felt right. It it everything about that part of the country. It, it feels right to be neck deep in wool. It really does. It was just magic. So we did that. Uh, we also popped into. Um, wild earth the mill down there and i didn't get to see jackie um who i've met lots of times uh, from wild earth but um i did get to see rebecca who has uh, i bought some of her yarn actually i'll show you that in a minute um and i got to have a little poke around in the wild earth shop now it's been a long time since i was there i would say it's been about seven years maybe since i was um it will be six or seven years since I was in Christchurch. I'm imagine it's something like that. And um, and last time I was at Wild Earth, there wasn't a shop. And now there's a little shop. And it's actually apparently a bigger shop than it used to be. So that was, it's great. It's really good to see them going strong down there. And I got a little bit of yarn from there. I've, I bought a lot of yarn. So then I taught, I had a couple of classes and uh, I was teaching and Lisa was teaching, Lisa F Designs, Lisa Craig. Uh, she was teaching as well, and we both taught a, a class, a, two classes each, and it was really, it was love, it was the whole thing was really lovely. And then on Sunday we had a market, and the public were invited to come, and there were people queued outside. There were about fourteen or fifteen traders that I think there might have been a few more, but I think there was about that many uh, in this big, big space. It was beautiful, lots of space for everybody. It was just perfect, really. And um, the crowd came in, and there were a lot of the public came. So it's going to be on next year, and I think you need to mark your calendars already. Sometime in early April, I imagine it'll be a similar sort of time. Barbara can let us know, and Tamsin will let us know. Uh, I don't know if you have an email that people can sign up to, Barbara. That would be helpful. Uh, there were 20 traders. There we go. 20 traders. Next year is going to be bigger. I'm absolutely sure next year is going to be bigger. Um, it was the. It was such a happy environment. It was such a warm and friendly and supportive and it was just a lovely lovely environment and those sorts of environments only grow it'll grow bigger and bigger so i think it was a perfect 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 um moment in the knitting calendar here in new zealand down under it just gets us set up for the knitting winter you can sort of gather your supplies and get in touch with people and really it really fills up fills you up with all that love of yeah I just want to get making oh my gosh all these people love making as well and we all do it together right Barbara has told me that there's an email knit knit now get this knit in gather nc okay knit in oh no sorry yeah knit in gather nc that's north canterbury at gmail.com so email them 
I'm going to have to talk to them about having a um, newsletter or something because they need something like that and perhaps even a web page. But it's going to be bigger next year. There, um, with a bit of luck, there'll be more teachers. It, it was just lovely. It was such a good feeling. It was really, really good. And if you can only make it to the trading day on the Sunday, it's well worth it. It's going to be another real um, highlight in the knitting calendar down here. So I thoroughly recommend it. I bought a lot of yarn. I'm looking at it here. I've got, um, you know those plastic tubs you get? For the laundry i've got one of those very very large tubs and it's yellow look if i had some beautiful wicker handmade thing which i do have those sorts of baskets but they catch on yarn and my wood is in some of them for the fire and i don't have one of those but if i had one of those it would be more beautiful and i, I could i can't actually lift it up because it's trapped under the table but it's a huge i've got a huge tub like that and it's actually full to the brim with the yarn i bought a lot of yarn and I've actually haven't got it all here because I ordered some and it's going to be sent to me. Um, so there will be more to show you. But let me just go back and see what you're saying. Oh, it's nice to see everybody saying hello. Lots of people saying hello. It's people I saw there the other day. It's a sunny day in Wairapa. That's brilliant, Bernadette. Uh, loved meeting me. Thank you. It was so good to see you all. I really, really enjoyed seeing you all. It was so fun. Um, cloudy and cooler this in the northern rivers this morning. Uh, and um, oh good someone's hoping to go to New Zealand next March yes look I just think we need to have a date don't we pretty soon so people can start booking things but it's worth it there's so many things to see around there Rangiora is the I hadn't been to Rangiora before it's the prettiest prettiest little place it's just a small little town out of Christchurch and um, it has all the old facades from you know way back way way in New Zealand times you know 18 whatever and those lovely little verandas sort of wrought iron and posts and it's so pretty up and down the main drag and then all the trees have little lights in them it is the prettiest prettiest place that was the area nearby so um and of course there's Kath's shop I stayed with Kath who has uh, the wool shop in Rangiora and uh that's in the main drag that's really really good and then hands hands on is the other uh, wool shop down there, which I didn't get to actually, but um, that's worth having a visit to. I think we're just looking at what uh, they sell my patterns in there and um, having a look and see what's online. It's worth visiting. It's really it's just it's just made for wool. The whole place is made for wool. Uh, someone said I was still on a high and couldn't sleep on Sunday night. My mind was buzzing with all the great vibes of the day. Oh, that's so nice. Hi, Jackie. Nice to see you. So they're thinking late March, early April for next year, but we'll have to get you some dates, I think, as soon as we can, so people can, I think, book a flight if you're in Australia. You'll really, really love it. It's, it, you'll really love it. It's really good. It was very, very, it's just so, so happy. Okay, so I show you some of the yarn I got? I'm looking at it down here. It's full to, full to the brim in this yellow tub. I bought things from <clears throat> um, a variety of places. I bought things at Kath's Yarn Shop, which is the... Um, wool shop <clears throat> in Rangiora. I bought things at the market. I got, um, I'll show you this first because this is absolutely gorgeous. So I was staying next door to these people and so I got a chance to go over and um, have a look at yarn and um, oh yes Rachel it was so nice to see you too. Yeah Rachel and I, a whole lot of wardrobe toolboxes came and had a coffee morning with me on uh, Monday morning in Dunedin that was really nice and Rachel was one of them uh, it was good to see you too um, so I was able to pop over next door this isn't oh this isn't all of it there's still another one oh. and have a go on Eleanor's spinning wheels and have a long talk to Jack and Eleanor about their yarn and Jack and Eleanor were on Country Calendar <clears throat> which is a show that's a weekly show in New Zealand that highlights the best of New Zealand country living and country farms and stuff like that. And they were on country calendar, so they actually showed me the country calendar because I hadn't seen it. I didn't have a TV. I could see it on the computer, but I, I just haven't. And um, anyway, so they showed me the country calendar and we had lovely soup for dinner. And then I went over and had a go on Eleanor's spinning wheels, which was really quite a lot of fun. And I tell you what, you people that have got a Mayercraft spinning wheel, I understand why now. They are absolutely gorgeous. I got to try her, it's a rose. But I think that's the most expensive one. So I just thought, I'm not, that was really nice, but I can't look at that. I think it was the most expensive spinning wheel they do, perhaps. But I also tried the Luna, which was a little one. Look, both of them were nice. I actually don't think I could go wrong with any of those. They were so smooth and delicious. So that's, they've just been put on my wish list now. 
That's my upgrade spinning wheel. It's going to be one of those. I wasn't sure about them. And I was thinking I'd go for a um, another Ashford, the Ashford Joy, because I like that name as well. Uh, but I decided actually this Mayacraft, I'm going to try some more of those. But they seem like the way to go. Anyway, they showed me their yarn. So they were on Country Calendar because they grow Polworth sheep. And uh, they make some yarn from their Polworth sheep. Now, at the moment, you can only buy it by telling them on Facebook that you want to buy it. They are um, not, they haven't got a, you know, they're older. They're having an absolute ball. And um, so if you want it, you just have to go and get it. But they had a big, um, they had a big stand at the trading show. And so, you know, I couldn't resist. Had to get some of this. Okay, so um, this is it. It's Starcrest Farm. Starcrest Farm. It is 100% Polworth wool. It is so heavenly beautiful. I got the woolen spun. They also do a worsted spun, but Eleanor had one of my cardigans. She had the um, uh, Dolly cardigan knitted up in... in uh, it was actually a worsted spun, but she had the colour work done in woolen spun, and I just thought, oh, it's absolutely divine. I just wanted woolen spun. It smells so good. It just smells so good. So I got. I thought I got this for the base. This is the darker color. I just got mostly natural colors. So this was the darker color, and I got four of those. So I have got a bit to play with for the, a base. I got. I got because I need to swatch right. So I have to get more. So I got those. You can also get it. Yes, Catherine also stocks it at the farm. Yes, that's true at the yeah at the wool shop in Rangiora. Yes. Yeah, so if you are wanting to get it, you love the sound of it. Honest to goodness, I would try just get some it's so nice i'm going to do a pattern in it star crest farm you can get it from the wool shop rangiora i think on uh facebook and on instagram and things they're called willoughbys but um hunt them down so there's that i got those for the main the, i'll hold one of them up because then you'll see the others and then i got one of those which is the silvery color these are all naturals i just thought i'd love a, a really natural color worky look because it's wool and spun after all and then I got one of those for the cream now when you see their sheep none of them look particularly cream but out of them comes this beautiful wool and I think it's because they must roll all over the floor so there's those and then Eleanor dyes yarn and I just got this to start with because I thought that would be just beautiful as a splash of color but I know that in the wool shop oh thank you um that will be Sabrina that's put it up thewoolshop.co.nz, have a look there. She also sells these um, in, uh, I think they're 50 or 100, I can't remember if they're 50 or 100 grams, I think they're 50 gram um, colors, little ones. This is just a little 60 meter thing, one. But, uh, so I've got this just to do swatching and then I'll figure out how much of it I need and you know maybe have a play with colors. So that those are the ones plus all the other dark ones and I thought they'd make a beautiful jumper with these natural colors and then just a little I just adored this lavendery lilac lavendery color just spot popped through I do have a thing about purple and gray pinks and grays they're my favorites so anyway that's what I got from them honest to goodness you will you will love it you will absolutely love it it said this yarn has been produced from our flock of Polworth sheep on our small farm in Oxford uh, New Zealand so they live in Oxford not actually in Rangiora it's just a little bit half an hour away it has been processed and spun by wild earth yarn uh, in Christchurch so it's really local it couldn't be as local it, it couldn't be any more local it's incredibly local and it was so lovely to meet um, I'd already met Eleanor before I and she said she met me before and then I realized oh yes I remember I can remember having conversations with you at another festival about jumpers um, and Jack, uh, her husband, who is the farmer. And oh, I just, it was, you know, it's so nice, those sorts of things. So I got some of that and there. I will do a pattern in that because I cannot wait to wear it. I'm not sure if I'll do a cardigan or a jumper. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do a cardigan or a jumper, but they're four ply and they have got, have got both four ply and DK. Yes, I got four ply, I think. That's what I intended to get. Yeah, I got fingering, four ply equivalent. And they do worsted spun and woolen spun. So you, you've got a good choice of things to choose from. Uh, and then all the pretty, pretty, pretty colours, which look so good because, of course, some of them will be dyed. That'll be on the cream, I imagine. Dyed on the cream. Uh, it could be dyed on the silver, though. 
anyway, they all have that lovely sort of background to them. All right, let me just see. There's lots of talking here. Ah, uh, cold in Tasmania. Yes, I can imagine. I tried the Luna at the Mayercraft camp in Australia last weekend and decided to order one. Trash. And the Luna, the little Luna at Mayercraft Luna, it's just tiny, isn't it? It's just this tiny little spinning wheel. And they have two pedals. You know, I only have one pedal um, on my spinning wheel. And it did take me just a minute to get used to the two pedals. But once I was there, it's just like the smooth, just that smooth, no sound. Mush that smooth going in. Absolutely beautiful. Someone said, I've been spinning on a Mayocraft wheel for more than 30 years and I absolutely love it. All good. And then Catherine, yes, Catherine stocks the Starcrest Farm yarn at the Rangiora Wool Shop. And I've told you that already, the woolshop.co.nz. Have a little look. Is the Starcrest DK? It's DK minus fingering, but it comes in a DK. Actually, no, I don't think it does come in a DK. Do they? Have a look on the website. Because someone asked me about a DK and, oh, they might have only had fingering at the show. That might have been what it was. But go and have a little poke around. But they definitely do a woolen spun and a worsted spun. And uh, just beautiful. But they do, oh, someone says they do seem to have both at the shop. Okay, good. It's amazingly delicious wool in a yarn swap. <clears throat> I was off, I was gifted three Polworth skeins by Catherine in three natural and different colours and made the shawl the other side of the world you love it was that you Bronwyn I'm not sure it could be I have this funny feeling I don't know someone has talked something said something about Bronwyn having some yarn on the other side of the world so it could be I don't know uh, Adele says I love anything Polworth it's so divine I might get some out and have a squish actually I'm home with a dreadful migraine oh it'll hopefully it'll help you feel better Adele that's that, oh, let's hope so um, yes, just dive into some wool. That's got to help. Polworth is so nice. Yes, it's very cute and easy to spin on. Oh, so that's the little Luna. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I can't go this slowly to show you all the yarn. I might have to space it out over a couple of days because I've only got through one. Okay, let me show you something else. Um, I went to... This is a diff something different. I went to the mill. Oh, now I can't find the other one. Here. When I was at Wild Earth, um, actually, I think I got these at Ethan's shop. Oh, yes, it's Bronwyn. Yes, I thought it was you, Bronwyn. Yes, we, we actually, you actually came up, funnily enough. You're famous down here, Bronwyn. Did you know that? Um, among my wardrobe toolboxes, you're famous. They love you, Bronwyn. And uh, so that we did mention you because it must have been Kath who was saying she sent you some yarn. And we were saying how much you uh, enjoy your, the local yarn around you in Cornwall. And um, Cornwall Devon. So I've forgotten now, Bronwyn, I feel terrible, Cornwall. Um, and um, anyway, so yes, your name came up. You must have probably heard your, felt your ears uh, tingle. Anyway, I went, I was at Ethan's shop and I wasn't anticipating going to Wild Earth. I, I didn't know I'd do that. So I was at Ethan's first and ages ago, um, um, Jackie sent me some, some of this Aspen, Aspen DK and uh, in the original colors and I haven't done anything with it yet and she just sent me a bunch of the colors just for me to have a go and I act funnily enough I pulled it out the other day and I thought I would really love to do a jumper in it this is also wool and spun I think I'm having a wool and spun moment um anyway and I but I knew I didn't have the full color range because since they'd sent me that they had some new colors so I when I was at Ethan's I grabbed some more of the colors these are ones I didn't think I had and that, oh my gosh, I can just see myself in a jersey like that. My mum said that was the colour of her school uniform. It wasn't the colour of my school uniform, so I'm good to go. So I thought a nice, it's so, 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 so soft. It's absolutely divine. So this is Aspen DK Polworth Wool. Oh, this is the start. I did know that and I totally forgot. This is the same yarn. This is this yarn. This is Starcrest DK. So this is a good way to get the DK as well. So this, um, it said wool and spun yarn, New Zealand wool grown and processed in Canterbury. <clears throat> this is emerald color grown at Starcrest Farms. Okay, look, how about that? I, I, I was not even aware of that so well. So I got those three and I've also got some others and I can, I just want to have a nice sloppy jumper with a bit of color work in it. And um, yeah, I added those to my pile so I'll come back to those but 
You see, people don't read. I know that people don't read and I didn't read. So there we are. That's a good example of that. And I think someone actually already told me that. Okay. As an alternative to city retreat is why knit. Oh, yes. I saw that, Sandy. Um, there's a new retreat that's coming called Why Knit in Masterton. It's in June. I saw that. I haven't sat down at my computer since I've been home, but I saw an email came in, which I must um, reply to. But yes, $30, $30 to get in and you can have classes and things. You get um, food and a farm visit. And that sounds really nice. So go and have a look that up too. Look up that too if you're anywhere near Masterton or want to go there. Um, Alexa said, I've just finished a garment in Aspen 8 ply Cypress. That is, is that Cypress? What did I just say that was? Um, I'm going to just say Emerald, I think. Yes, yeah, Cypress. I've got Cypress, I'm pretty sure, over there. Um, that one's not Cypress. No, it's, it's the other one in my pile over there. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? So soft. Um, oh, you'll all envy me, says Bronwyn, as I head off to Orkney in July. <gasps> Amazing woolly things, woolly things to explore then. Oh, we definitely will, Bronwyn. Oh, you, you have fun, Bronwyn. Have fun. Someone said it was the colour of my school uniform as well. Well, it wasn't the colour of mine. And I think it's absolutely divine. And I can just see myself in that. And it's so, 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 so lovely and soft. So that'll be lovely. And my daughter's appeared in front of me and she's made something. Oh, that's, she's on school holidays. Should I show them what you made? She wants me to show you what she just made. She's going to make a whole lot for her, um, a whole lot for her wall, are you? All oh, right. This is my 14-year-old. She's my natural knitter, this one. Oh, that's good. So did you work out the SSK by yourself? Oh, good. There we go. She just made that. You can come back when you've got a whole lot of them and show us. I'm sure the wardrobe toolboxes would love to see it when you're finished. Um, Okie doke. Wild Earth Yarns. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. That'll be Sabrina. Wildearthyarns.co.nz collections. Aspen Polworth Ball Yarns. Yay. Yes, so you can go and have a look, look up the Aspen as well. It's beautiful wool. Absolutely. Blah, blah, blah absolutely stunning wool stunning 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 if you want legit homegrown kiwi yarn or you're on the other side of the world and you want to get ho get hold of some soft really um plump and just the fabulous legit yarn this is the stuff get some of that it's just beautiful all this this just absolutely stunning okay then i just saw this color when i was at the wool shop I saw this colour, and this is not the same at all. It's it's another. It's, this is a um, a commercial yarn that's made here in New Zealand, and um, I think it's is made in New Zealand. It's a New Zealand yarn. They say they're from Auckland. Anyway, I saw this colour and I couldn't leave it there. And this is just a merino DK, and I thought that colour was divine. I don't know if it's coming up rich enough. It's a really. It's just my colour. I love 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 this colour. It's like a burgundy red. And it's shot with all sorts of other colours through it. And it's this one, Merino. Merino DK. And I just loved the colour so much. I got a whole bag of it. I got a whole bag because I thought it's divine. It's soft. It's divine. I can sort of see cables coming through this. Something like that. I'm not sure if I was shopping to my list very well. But I shopped. So that was the main thing. Uh, what else did I get? When I was at, um, now this is a mystery to me, and if anyone can help me out with this, it would be great. Uh, when I was at the mill, um, Wild Earth Mills, the people that make this and the people that spin this, I saw a basket of yarn, and I couldn't resist it. It was hand-dyed yarn. This is 80 Merino 20 nylon, 400 meters, machine washable. And I just thought this was absolutely just beautiful, beautiful colorway. Check that out. Now this, I believe, there's no label on it. It just tells me what it is. And I believe it's dyed by Joe. Now, I think it said dyed by Joe. I need to find out who Joe is and where people can get hold of more of it. And if she has a shop, I'm not entirely sure. But I thought that would make a stunning fingering cardigan. Absolutely stunning. The, it's just I will just go with everything I wear the color changes in it are so lovely and I'm not usually a big purple person but this has got grays and greens and teals and gold and all mixed in all mucky 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 together so it's going to be oh, look there's a real pinky color in there as well 
it will just be absolutely beautiful all knitted up I think so I'm I just loved it I couldn't I just couldn't leave it there I thought it was beautiful uh, that was the heartthrob the heartthrob yarn was one of was these so I took them home I thought yep I just need to find out who Joe is now so when I have a pattern in it everybody knows who Joe is and Joe can make them some beautiful yarn as well those purple skeins are gorgeous I know Tracy aren't they divine they really are. I'm obviously having, I have colour moments. Look, I'm having a colour moment at the moment. It's just what's happening. Okay, what else did I get? Um, I got some more at the shop. I got these at the shop. Uh, I, the other day I bought some, um, the other day I bought some uh, Rowan Tweed. Those, the light DK Rowan Tweed, which I adore. And uh, I think I put a picture I put a picture on my um, social media and I put a picture uh, in my mini mag of my Rowan Tweed. But then I saw this and this is by Surda and this is also from Yorkshire and it's, it's the same kind of yarn, DK Tweed, but all of the colour is just lighter. Everything was lighter. It was like a diff totally different palette to the other one and so I got those two I thought at the moment I would just do some swatching and then I would figure out what I wanted to do rather than buy it all when not being too sure and then I got two of these and I couldn't because I couldn't decide and I needed to go away and just try them to see which one I wanted that one is a real cream color sort of creamy to go with those and that one is more pinky and I just wasn't really sure which one I wanted with them so um, I got both of those two ones because I I just thought they were absolutely beautiful that has a real pinky overtone to it I don't know if you'll be able to tell they're sort of the same with the tweed in them this one has a little more red when this one has orange they both have greens in them but I just I thought it was really really pretty and um, yeah I could just see myself I thought a vest I thought a little vest in them would be so nice, a bit of colour work in a vest and something light, just that fresh, fresh feel, warm and fresh. So anyway, I got those. They're for swatching and for putting away. I have now have more yarn. My mum said to me, told me that joke yesterday, um, that you go, I've gone through my stash, I've gone through everything I have and now I just have to work out how to live to 720 because that's how long I need to live in order to knit it all. That is me. Okay, what else did I get? I might get through it all, actually, you guys. You're quite good. I also got, I got quite a bit at the little shop, actually. Um, I got this at Kath's Yarn Shop, the wool shop in Rangiora. This is also a commercial yarn. This is called Papyrus by Fibra, Fibra Natura. And it is 78 cotton and, um, no, yeah, 78 cotton, 22 silk. It feels absolutely divine. It's quite a knotty, like a lumpy sort of yarn. But I got a lot of this one. And then I thought I'd like to do a summer top. You can't get enough summer tops, right? Um, to go with that. And I thought that would be so pretty. It just is a little light summer top with this spotted through it. So it's obviously you can see the proportions now when I hold it up. Just be a little bit of the pink, some sort of something in it with the pink. Uh, but mostly this little brown summer top that I thought I would wear that that looks lovely lovely so I'm looking forward to that um oh and I bought this one this is from purple sprouting Paula from Perongia but actually they told me Paula is moving to Omaru so that'll be fun uh, Omaru is at the other end of the country and this is a blue face Lester fingering superwash 400 meters and the color is called after the ball and I just thought it was so pretty, so, so, so pretty. I could see that in a shawl. Just to give us a little pop of color, I love a bit of a speckle. And so I love the hot pinks and the oranges. Ah, oh, really pretty. So I got that just to add to my yarn shawl stash. That's the one that jumped out at me. Delicious from Purple Sprouting. Um... Oh, where did I get that? Oh, I know, that's something else. I'm going to show you that another day. That I actually had parcel arrived while I was away, so I'll show you that another day. Um, oh, I got this from Lisa. <clears throat> Lisa was teaching with me. Can you put up the name up of the cotton silk? Yes, I can, Lisa. Uh, Linda, it's this one. Papyrus. Fibra Natura Papyrus. Now, I got that at the wool shop as well. 
um, in Rangiora, so the uh, woolshop.co.nz. You can probably get it around New Zealand at other wool shops because it's uh, one of those commercial brands that I think is probably all over the show. This colour is, oh well, romantically, it's called 229.24. So that's romantic, but um, I'm not actually sure if I got the name. No, it's colour, it could be colour L01. I don't know. It's all a bit wonky on the label. Um, Colour 22927. That one. So yeah, romantic names. Um, papyrus, that's it. I know you definitely didn't I didn't get purchase paralysis at all. I just purchased. I had I had my card might have got a bit of purchase paralysis. Uh yay, Barbara. Uh, someone said, or oh, Andrea said, I made your Nula in the papyrus. Oh, cool. And you got it from them. It'll be perfect. It's a DK. I wanted something with a bit of weight to it. So my Nula, it would be absolutely divine in Nula. Divine. Yes, that's the one with the, the lace that comes down the shoulders and a bit of swing to it. It'd be just lovely. Um, I buy the same indie dye wool from the craft shop in Oxford. I would love to know who dyes it as they only have small numbers on each color at the shop with lots of socks being made in it. Oh, I don't know. It's the indie dye wool from the craft shop in Oxford. Well, if anyone knows about the craft shop in Oxford, um, <clears throat> you could maybe tell us in the Truly Mutual Hangout. The Wool Shop Collections Fiber Natura. There we go. You could grab it there. They had a whole, whole bunch of colors, lots of colors. Beautiful. I'm just going to have to have a little cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Anyway, <clears throat> Lisa and I were teaching. And Lisa is a good friend of mine. And it was lovely to um, spend so much time with her over the weekend because she lives at the other end of the country to me. And she was teaching um, all sorts of, uh, she was teaching a class about finishing and um, uh, embellishing your knits and things like that. That's what they did in the class. Looked, I wish I could do these classes. I just teach at the same time. Anyway, uh, if you want to come and find um, Lisa teaching, we are both teaching again and Ethan at um, Knit August Nights in August we've already got a big lineup of classes they're ready you can go and have a look and sign up and they usually go quite fast so you might want to check those out if you can't wait for next year for this one anyway Lisa has a yarn range called Burnt Hill and this is some of her yarn and she also has a plethora of baby knit patterns I think everybody who's knitting baby knits in New Zealand is probably using Lisa's patterns they are absolutely gorgeous and uh, she has yarn to go with them now. So I saw her knitting up on this color and I said, oh my gosh, I just love that. I love that color and the way it's knitting up. This wool is so soft. This is, this is actually also made at that um, mill in the South Island, Wild Earth. And this is a merino wool. She's a bit fussy about her yarn. So it's got good fiber in it. And it's a DK, um, and uh, what have I got here 106 meters per 50 grams and this one is her Vespers and the color the color the color is called Cinnabar Green and I thought that was absolutely stunning <clears throat> so Vespers DK I just got one ball and I thought I could swatch it and I could have a feel of what it wants to be but I think it wants to be I think it wants to be a jumper I think but I'm going to swatch it and I'm going to see it might want to be a little cardy but I thought it would be so cute over the top of things. I've got quite a lot of DK, don't I? I seem to have gone DK mad. Um, what else have I got here? This isn't DK. This is... This is not DK. This is fingering. And um, this was the first thing I bought. And I got this at Ethan's shop. And um, it is from Kiwiana. Rebecca at Kiwiana. She's the one I met in the mill at Wild Earth. And I just saw this and I could not leave it there. This is a merino possum fingering. It's called Aquamarine. And look at that. Absolutely divine. So I've got quite a few things for whole garments. I knew I needed some more fingering. So I've got fingering. Three fingering garments worth, actually, haven't I? So that was pretty well done, actually. And this one is for a solid color. And I've got also some for colorful. So I've done a whole range of things. What a delicious yarn. This is shot with lots of dark. It'll be the possum in it. You can't really get so much possum now. So this is a good one to um, to try. So it's I'm going to show you her label. Da, 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 da. I just thought this would be the most absolutely divine jumper or cardi. I haven't decided. Kiwiana. Rebecca from Kiwiana. 
that's her card there, kiwiana.co.nz. I got this at Ethan's shop, which is called Get Flocked. So it's at Get Flocked. I don't know if she sells it on her website or not. I know she dyes a lot of yarn for his shop and it seems to fly out the door. So that's probably a good place to look. But that, yeah, isn't that absolutely stunning? Aquamarine. It's 80% merino, 20% possum, 400 meters per 100 grams. Divine, divine yarn. So I got that. Look, I'm getting surrounded by yarn now. I'm going to have a massive reorganization of my um, shelf. You wait. Anyway, this is the last thing. Oh, no, not the last thing. Second to last thing. Second to last. This is the second to last thing. Um, I When I was in Dunedin with my daughter, I went down and we found Knit World so that she could go back and find yarn because she's busy crocheting for herself. While I was there, she started crocheting a little top for herself. And then by the time I left, she was almost finished. It, and then I she FaceTimed me and she'd finished this little crochet top. And now she said to me, actually... I think actually I'm, I'm, I've thought of something else. I'm going to design one in my head. That was another person's pattern. But then she's designed one in her head. So she's busy making that. And I said, you're supposed to be studying. Don't forget, you're supposed to be down there studying. But anyway, she's busy crochet, crochet. She loves crocheting and knitting. And she is a fearless crochet and knitter. She will just remake the pattern. Redo it and start again. She's, you know, it's old, old to be young. Anyway, um, I got this to make dishcloths. I thought it was absolutely lovely. It's just a thick nice thick cotton this is this calico 200 grams of cream 200 grams of this color which is called uh la doche la la doche la which is like minty i suppose la doche la oh no that's the whole name of the whole thing what's this colorway this is 0616 or else 24 i think it's color 24 this is color 01 i don't know where i saw before that it said linen but anyway, um, the dishcloths, every few years I need to do a whole pile of dishcloths. And so I thought I could do a matching set of dishcloths and just knit, sometimes striped, sometimes I could do a cream inside with a, a minty crocheted border, sometimes I could do that the other way around, I could do whatever I wanted. So I got two of those to pop away for when I need to do my next uh, dishcloth session, which is often in the summer. And then I won a couple of skeins, and I'm quite thrilled about this. I won two skeins of yarn in the, one of the spot prizes in the, um, at the um, retreat. And I got this. I had to go and choose from this lady here, Unwind and Knit With Me, and I had to choose two skeins of yarn. I think I choose the two prettiest skeins of yarn on the stand. Absolutely beautiful. This is Sock Yarn. It's called Northburn. Unwind and Knit With Me is the name of the brand. 80% merino, 20% nylon. It's 390 per 100 grams. New Zealand sock yarn. Superwash. Um, and it's called Northburn. And it is divine. Let me just take the label off so I can show you properly. What stunning, stunning colours. So this, definitely shawl. Definitely shawl. I just don't quite know. I think I'll mix it with the third colour. And then have that going through. Look at that. It's the softest. This is my idea of pastels. I'm not a huge pastel person, but if I had to go pastel-y, this, is, this would be my idea of it. It's sort of like an ice cream sundae that's been stirred a bit with chocolate sauce. That is, and a little bit of caramel, that is my idea of just divine, absolutely divine. I think they look better in real life than you're seeing on the screen. Maybe if I hold them back, you get a bit of better light. Anyway... So I won those and I was pretty stoked about that. So if you want to find some of this yarn, Unwind and Knit With Me is the name of the dyer. And this is Northburn. This particular one is called Northburn. Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh good, someone's put the link in there. Thank you so much. That'll be Sabrina. Unwind and Knit With Me. Now if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll need to come over to our Facebook Hangout. And underneath the video, the replay of this video... Uh, you'll find all the links that Sabrina very kindly puts in for us. Uh, let's have a little look. Oh, good, and she's got uh, Lisa's one, Lisa's yarn in there too. I think the Hanks by Joe might be the same as sold in Oxford. Oh, okay. So this one by Joe, we've got to find Joe, everybody. Can we find Joe? Get Joe to email me. Uh, Hanks by Joe. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. So the Hanks by Joe might be the same as sold in Oxford. Okay, right. 
Uh, Barbara said, I'm currently knitting, knitting Lisa's poppy cardigan and hat, and her pa patterns and yarn are delicious. They are so perfect for little people. Uh, Burnt Hill Yarns, that's the name of Lisa's one, Burnt Hill Yarns, yeah. My daughter in Dunedin is a fierce crochet girl too. We're collaborating on a Granny Square cardigan. I will knit the bands for her, Sam. Oh, fantastic, Sam. Um, oh, it's nice to see you. I um, I said to Zoe last night, I sent her a picture of the Granny Square cardi that's going around with the knitted sleeves and she love-hearted it because she'd been making, she's just been making squares. She just you know she just has to make things she's just a maker and so she just crochets random crochets with whatever yarn she's got there and i said to her you could put those together as a cardigan anyway i sent her that pattern and i think um i might get it for her and then she can go and you know hunt down some well, i probably could send her some yarn actually and make herself the cardigan because she can knit and she can crochet and she's pretty fearless about it so i think she'd look wicked knitted up in that I thought it looked really cool. Um, oh, good. And you've got the other one there for Rosario's uh, knitting.co.nz for this um, cotton as well. Unwind and knit. Yeah, so that's that one. Unwind and knit with me. Absolutely stunning. And then the last thing, there is another last thing. Um, Eleanor very kindly gave me, Eleanor and Jack Patterson gave me fibre to spin. So this is 100 grams of Polworth wool combed top. Those of you spinners out there, go and get some of this. It is heaven. Uh, they also have Polworth silk, which I don't have. But the Polworth silk, mwah, it positively glows. It looks absolutely amazing. Amazing. So you will enjoy all of those. That, I think, the rest of that in there, I'm going to show you another day. Because that I got... Um, in the post while I was away uh, is it pretty nice so I got that and I've got something else to show you as well anyway that's that <sighs> it's quite a lot isn't it I have grand plans to rearrange myself out here because uh, this time of year I get a lot of sun that hits me on my face and I'm thinking of moving myself over there and rearranging all my stash and rearranging my room and bringing my sewing out here so uh, you may or may not see me in the same place next week. It depends if I have a moment to do it, but I am planning to rearrange. You may not actually look a heck of a lot different, you know, for you, for you, but it will for me. I love spinning Polworth, says Ursula. Yeah, I haven't actually spun any Polworth, so I am looking forward to it. It's beautifully soft, Polworth, just beautiful. So that is my haul of yarn. I did not get paralysis, analysis paralysis. I was, I knew I needed to buy yarn. I knew I wanted to buy some yarn. I had a, I had an idea of what I wanted, um, and I just thought. But I also was totally open to adventure. So I was totally open to, okay, well, if I see something and I just love it, like this. If I see something, I just am not going to leave it there. I'm going to take it home because I may not get it back again, especially if it's just a random in a basket that I don't know if I can get hold of it again. But I also like the idea, and this I can recommend, three lots of yarn I got. Look, those, all of those and these, I only got enough to swatch. I didn't get a whole lot. I just got enough to do some swatching. And then once I've done that, then I can go back uh, and I can order more. Where's the Polworth silk from? It's from the same place. So Starcrest also do Polworth silk. So have a little look up Starcrest Farm. You'll have to find them on fa Facebook. They have got their email here. It is eljack at extra.co.nz. Email them and ask them. Um, at the moment, they weren't sending overseas. So uh, you'll have to just twist their arm if you want them to do that. It's absolutely divine, absolutely and utterly divine, but they do Polworth and Polworth silk for their fibre. Alrighty, everybody, and that is everything I had to show you for today. That is it. That is my haul. I had such a fabulous weekend. I feel all invigorated. It is so nice to go down to the South Island and see everybody. I really enjoyed that a lot. Uh, it's a beautiful part of the country, and the people were so warm and friendly. It was just such good vibes down there. I can thoroughly thoroughly recommend it next year I will definitely be back next year I think I might make that my South Island pilgrimage every year and um, it'll be great to see you there it'll be really good to see you there too the classes will be fun I'm hoping there'll be some more classes next year 
uh, and you can all join in and then the big market and then just lots of fun to be had around because it's just, it's just the hub of you know Canterbury knitting it's a hub for knitting uh, it's a great time anyway I will see you next week I have got a new pattern coming out for you next week which you'll be pleased to hear so I'm looking forward to bringing it to you it's a shawl and it's one of those shawls which you will love 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 uh, because uh, it's such a good opportunity to use lots of beautiful color anyway I will show you that next week in the meantime do heaps of knitting have fun and I will uh, catch you later bye everybody see you later <laughs>